Hello guys and welcome to Program Artist. Today we're going to talk about the declaration files in TypeScript. So far we've seen how to use TypeScript features to write your own TypeScript files. But most of the time you're going to use some external libraries to implement things you want to implement. And most of the external libraries are so far written in JavaScript. And you're going to want to use the TypeScript features when using those libraries as well. Features that could be useful are features like uh, autocomplete and suggestions for the libraries you're using uh, to see the functions and uh, the parameters of those functions uh, the external libraries are using and also static typing to see if you're using that library correctly. Even though those libraries are written in JavaScript, you may use TypeScript features when you're using them. In order to do this, you need to, to use declaration files and these files are files that declare what those libraries are using uh, using some, uh, some TypeScript syntax without implementation. Uh, it's like the age files in uh, C uh, which declare the functions and the API those functions have. Uh, so those files, uh, they, uh, their extension is .d, .ts, .ts. Uh, for definition TypeScript files uh, and let's see some example of using them. We're gonna use the lodash library to union some arrays so let's start by declaring two arrays let's call it r1 and r2 will be 4, 5, 6 okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna import But now it yells at me that it doesn't have the module Lodash, Lodash because I didn't install it yet. So let's install. I'm installing Lodash, yeah. Okay, so now it installed Lodash. Okay. And let's open again. Declaration files. Okay. And now everything, everything is okay. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the union and result, I don't know, <coughs> it should be lodash union r1 with our r2. And I'm gonna log the result. So what I'm gonna do now, is build it and after it finishes I'm gonna run the file and what I'm gonna see is the union of those two arrays but the problem here is the union and the underscore the lodash it, uh, it, it is of type any and I don't have any autocomplete and any checks for uh, for those methods. So for example, if I change it to union1, it doesn't yell at me and it will compile. But when I try to run it, I will have an error that union1 is not a function of a underscore, of lodash actually. Um, and this is because I don't have any type safety on the uh, Lodash module. So in order to fix it, let's clear it. So in order to fix it, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install the typings of the Lodash, the declaration file. So the way you do it is you use npm install, npm install, you save it also, and you're using the types.lodash. After I installed it, what I'm gonna see here, not here, here, let me just open, refresh, okay, what I'm gonna see here, under the node modules, I'm gonna see the lodash, but also I'm gonna see this types directory with lodash inside of it, and the lodash will have uh, all of 
the DTS declaration files that Lodash needs. So for instance, uh, let's find the union. Union. Okay, the union. And the declaration file of union, what it does is actually imports from index the union and exports it again. Okay, so it re exports the union. Uh, the union declaration, okay, and the union declaration is somewhere inside the index DTS. Okay, so here is the union. Okay, let's find it somewhere here. Okay, union. Okay, so I have a generic union which receives uh, as much arrays as you want, uh, and each array is a list of T. Okay, it's an array of t. So after I, okay, after this, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna reopen it so it will read it correctly. Two declaration files, and now you can see uh, I have an error that union one does not exist on the lodash. And after I remove it, it doesn't yell at me anymore. And when I look at the autocomplete, I can see that the declaration of union is exactly what we saw before. And it shows, it shows me how to use it. And now after I compile it, once again, and run it. Okay, what? What is wrong with it? Property union one does not exist. I didn't save the file. Okay. Okay, so now you can see that the compiler also yells at me. If I have the union one, I didn't save the file, so it's thought that uh, union one was written there. So now the compiler also yells at me. And now, sorry, I wasn't focused correctly. So now when I build it, It will build correctly, and when I run it, it runs again correctly. So you may wonder uh, which libraries have these declaration files. So you can be calm. Most of the libraries already have those declaration files. If you're not sure whether your uh, library has the declaration file, you can go to the microsoft.github.io slash type search and search for your uh, library, for example, Lodash. And after you search for it, it navigates to the npm page of the declaration file. So for example, lodash is uh, at type slash lodash. All of the declaration files should be installed using the at types slash and the library name. And this namespace, types namespace, is populated automatically using uh, many uh, popular declaration file uh, repositories. For example, this one uses the definitely type uh, repository, which has a lot of types. I'll enter it and it will probably show me uh, just a few. You can see that it has many supporters, okay? And it has many, 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 many libraries, declaration files for the libraries. Uh, so probably most of the libraries that you're using, if they're popular one, they have the declaration files. Now, if you're writing your own uh, TypeScript library, you can export it with the declarations of the library. So for example, how uh, I will do it here, all I need to do, let's close the unnecessary things. So first of all, what I need to do is I need to enable the declaration files to be uh, created when uh, compiling. So the way you do it is using the compile options, the declarate, why doesn't it, the declaration, and it should be true. So now if I build it, What I should see is the DTS files, 
okay, that are created for each of my TypeScript files. So, for example, for uh, for the modules, let's talk. Let's take the modules example. Uh, the exporting module, okay, let's remember what it was. It exports some interfaces and some uh, const, okay. So if I look at the DTS file of it, not importing module, I'm sorry, the exporting module DTS, okay. So uh, I can see only the necessary things that I uh, that it is exported, so it created the DTS file for my uh, library, and in order for uh, the TypeScript compiler to look the uh, the declaration file, you need to specify it along with the main as typings, and it will be index.d.ts. Okay, so. This way, TypeScript compiler can search uh, for the declaration file, the main declaration file, which uh, exports all of the necessary things inside of your library. So usually it will be the same as the main file. Uh, instead of JS, it will be DTS. And TypeScript compiler also knows to search for the default path, the index DTS, inside the main directory of the module uh, the same way the node knows to look for the index.js by default. You have watched an episode about declaration files in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript episodes by clicking over here or you can watch what YouTube wants you to watch over here. If you want to watch other color-related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on ProgramArts.